Did y'all see the um, trailer for the Wendy Williams doc? I did. Mm -hmm. I, did. I didn't see it. That shit is um. You critical? So I'm shocked. I'm I'm I'm. It's very yeah. sad. Yeah, it's a very sad trailer. The trailer it, sad. The trailer is yes. very sad. Why? Because yeah. it's a, it's like a real behind the scenes and in depth look into her with her family, how they've been taking care of her, what she's been going through. Mm -hmm. uh, also, it's like a it's a now doc. It's now. Yes. not yeah. a. History of what? No, it's, it's now. It's called. It's called. Where is Wendy Williams? Okay. Yeah. Um, it's on. It's coming out on Lifetime. Mm -hmm. It's a two night. Uh, okay. So I guess Event. like part one, part two type of situation, Ugh. and it just says the struggling doc reveals her struggles with money woes, health issues, and alcohol. Oh, mm -hmm. so yeah, you could tell it's focusing on the the bad Yeesh. today. Yeah, the today. That's what I was trying to say. The bad of today. That's mm -hmm. fucked up though to me. I don't like that. Why? Um. It's Wendy, man. We know she's going through problems, and I, well, I feel I mean, like some of these companies. She had to have signed off. I know, on but this. I feel like these companies exploit them. She I know she did, but I just don't. That's true. Well, okay. they talk about. She's talking. Calm, about, I guess. Well, they're talking about. They're talking about you know her money woes, so it's possible that she did this as a result she of she didn't have a choice of yeah. needing Yeesh. needing some money. We know you need money. But, Let us exploit you. Yeah. Yeah, but why does she need money? Because the bank froze mm -hmm. her account. Britain. And there's a and there's discussion um, as to her guardianship and how they've been using her money. Mm -hmm. um, so that gets uh, mentioned throughout this um, documentary. Her family explains that there's some something rotten in Denmark with that. So do some of y'all look at it as the chickens came home to roost with her? With yes. You know what's wait? So the, I find that really really interesting because what's the difference between like a Wendy Williams and mm -hmm. a Howard Stern? Wendy Williams and Star, Wendy Williams and Char, Wendy Williams and Joe. Like, it's just like, I've, I've noticed the commentary when it comes to a woman doing what she did. Mm -hmm. And it's always like chickens coming home to roost. It's always like, well, that's karmic retribution. Mm -hmm. But it's never, the lens is never turned around when it comes to men within the same, you know, realm. I'm not familiar with the thing. I mean, I've heard about Howard Stern, but I'm not as familiar with like a lot of the things that he did. Um, he was messy. I, I, messy. I've heard about yeah. it. I don't uh -huh. know, but I, I know. I've, I was there. I've seen a bunch of the Wendy Williams stuff. And like, you you ruined, you know, potentially ruined people's marriages. And you, you were wilding. I saw, again, if, if those other ones did it, I'm not familiar with it. But in this particular instance, I remember a lot of these things. So that's why I'm on the chickens coming home the roost side of it when it comes to her. I don't know who's relationships, marriages, lives that Howard Stern ruined. If it happened, I'm just not aware of it. I don't like using karmic retribution uh, regarding somebody's health. I wasn't even talking about the health part. Karmic retribution doesn't even work like that, but I, I agree with it. It well, just The two things just don't well, make sense. Well, that's where we've been with Wendy Williams for a few years now mm -hmm. in terms of I just mean having, a fall off, a fall from grace. Yeah, like, but the like, fall from grace is directly related to her health. Cool. So... Mm -hmm. Can we say how you get it back? How you, what do you mean? If, 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 if you throw out something to the universe, right? We all believe in some sort of karma or no. Uh -huh. So we can be all on the same page. I don't know if I do or not, but... In, every, in any and every religion, they speak of karmic law. If you're not religious and you're spiritual, you still believe in the energy that you throw Cause out. Cause and effect, come back shit like that. Uh, mm -hmm. So if you've done things that brought hurt, that brought pain, that brought discomfort or injustice to somebody, then the world, a lot of people believe that that's going to come back to you in some way, shape, or form. Now, it may not come back to you in the same exact way that you did it, but it may come back to you in another way. Some, some religions say 10 times, tenfold. Mm -hmm. So it could be. I'm just saying it could be. Human uh, beings always like apply instant gratification to the concept of karmic retribution. Mm -hmm. So it's not like, you know, okay, so you did, you know, bad like 10 years ago and now here's your karma. Karma doesn't factor into our like small scale of, of the understanding of time. So like that's why that. it's, 
that's why it's, I've always been like karmic retribution. She's always talked about having health issues. Mm -hmm. Even when it came to getting pregnant, she had a lot of health issues. She's also talked about the abuse of drugs and alcohol throughout her life. You know, she's always ex talked about having thyroid conditions and people think like just having a thyroid condition is minor, but it is a very, very major condition to have an autoimmune um, disorder. Mm -hmm. So she's gotten older. And so she, these health issues start to compound. So wh why is it karma and not just the natural progression of what her life and her health it, it, history was going to dictate? I'm just, I'm just speaking you know? to how people feel. No, I know. So And it hasn't been instant gratification. Wendy Williams was torturing niggas 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. I remember in 97, 98, Wendy Williams was scorching niggas, Puff, Method Man, Funk Master Flex, all of these types of things. And you didn't really give a fuck about how it will play out to their families. And so now I think one of the things, and Joe's spoken about this, Joe loves Wendy Williams. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Joe's spoken about the fact that um, the, the, the TV station was doing a dirty. Joe didn't like how they were even canceling her show or the transition to phase her out of the show. Joe spoke very, very, very passionately about. Mm -hmm. And I told Joe, even at that time, the people don't see it that way because she wasn't passionate when it came to other people's downfall or she wasn't passionate or handled nobody else with kid gloves when it came to other people's problems and issues. So you can't expect for somebody to have empathy when it comes to your shit. Sympathy when it comes to your shit. Yeah, I don't like any of that. <clears throat> but you know how I feel about women. I know, I know. That's what I'm saying. I, and I, I see you I mean, being that, quiet. I'm just speaking to the other side. It's not issues. I'm talking about the masses because we read the comments and niggas are saying basically, so what? Yeah, what I think it really is, I don't think it's so much as karmic retribution. It's just like, nigga, you ain't give a fuck about nobody. So niggas don't give a fuck when it's happening to you. Like I'll give you, a, I'll bring it to us. I'll give you an example. Joe, if the podcast blows up tomorrow and there's no more JBP, and them niggas start playing another one bites the dust and making jokes and laughing at us. Mm -hmm. That's how they'll treat it because when somebody else shit failed, this is the way you treated them. That's true. So that's what it is with Wendy. It's like, yo, you, anytime some dirt about somebody was out there, even if it was true or not, you never handled nobody with grace. Never. You, so now you got your own dirt coming. But now niggas is like, yeah, now it's your turn. But she was stuck between a rock and a hard place because they confiscated her money. So then now Lifetime comes, offer to do a story on her. And if she doesn't have money, of course, she's going to take it. And now they're filming the, 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 worst, the, the, the worst side yeah. of her. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying even before. So I'm just like saying a lot, the a lot, downfall, you know, karmic, period. Karmic, people are not going to care. Karmic, health, retribu karmic, re retrib whether whether. karmic retribution should be like if people report on it. But she was actually put in a That's how I look at it. No, I know, and that's what but I said. She was actually put in a position where she couldn't win. So now I have no choice. Let me take this because my whatever lifestyle and stuff like that. I know, you know, Miss Jones was going in there, spending time with Wendy when she was going through these things mm -hmm. personally, and explaining to me what was going on with Wendy mm -hmm. and what was around her. That's not for me to say, but what Correct. I'm saying is that she was just put into a difficult position, mm -hmm. and that's where it becomes, you know, where the human side come in for me. It's like, oh, damn, oh. that's fucked up, and she has no choice but to take it. All I'm saying, Flip, is. If this was another, back then, if uh -huh. this was another exact same situation with another person, the way she would have reported on it and handled it is the way that people, a lot of people are speaking about her today. True. The report on it is, I'm fine with, but I'm just talking about lifetime. If you understand what I'm saying. It's a report. I, oh, you mean, so you're saying listen, it's wrong for lifetime to come in here and no, do that? No, it's a report. It's not wrong, Bro, but I just feel like she had, they left, they left her with no choice, my opinion. We can move on from this, All right? right yeah. You're saying basically lifetime caught you at a down point in yes. your life. And, and we're going to exploit it. And we're going to exploit it and monopolize it. Yes. Cool. Somebody else could have been going through a hard time in their life. Okay. You didn't handle them with grace. You exploited them for your ratings as well. If me and my family going through some shit that you know about that the world don't know about, now you take it and you use it to push your platform, you doing essentially what Lifetime is doing to her. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. Well, she got to deal with Lifetime. So I don't and she got I paid. Mean, but, but, but and like, she's like, getting but, but paid. Like is out of necessity. Didn't. She cut that deal probably out of necessity. Yeah, from so. the banks and the money mm -hmm. yeah, and yeah, yeah. what the network did and what my husband did mm -hmm. and now my yeah. health. And like now. even when that first started happening with her husband, when that situation first broke, people was like, uh huh. True. How many people's husbands have you talked about mm -hmm. and, and brought issues that nobody you. else knew about? I now it's that, at your front door. I think that says more about society than it does about Wendy Williams. Exactly. Like, the more I keep listening to y'all talk, like, and I think I understand what you're saying, but that's just really nasty from society to but, be yeah. in that place to say, hey, 
you did this, so good. I want to see you with lupus or Alzheimer's or. No, I don't, I don't even think it's the I want to see you with it. No, it's they just, do. But I'm, but, ha I'm happy you got. I'm happy your health is deteriorating. If you did this, the way you treated folk, don't expect people to now treat you that's, any different. That, that goes to ISIS that's analogy. If, if, if this show, God forbid, because I need a couple dollars. Yeah, facts. We're, we're, um, we're, take that go, back. I'm going to put that tomorrow, in Tomorrow, niggas will come out with the, another one bites the dust and be laughing. They would literally rejoice in the yeah, fact that this would implode. I agree they would be with happy. that. I agree with that, but I don't like the example. And, 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 the, and the example I would say is if this show ends tomorrow because my health is deteriorated, then I'm still with y'all. People still going to play that song. Yes. But is it right? No. Is it no. right to say? Two is it, is it right? right? No, no. I'm saying, is it right for the people playing another one bites the dust for me to uh, to do that because my health is or because I played the song before? Come on. They don't Come care on. about the they reason and why. They care less about that. They could care less about that. It's really just yeah. Your shit is now crumbling. Yours might be health reason. related. And again, let's let's say yeah, God forbid. Nasty. Let's say God forbid. I think Yours might be health related. Somebody else's might be. Whatever. It still leaves their family in a financial bind and a fucked up situation. And we laughing at that as opposed to maybe somebody else's being a, a health related issue. But, but, but if his morals won't allow him to play another one bites the dust when somebody has a health related issue. They can say Joe that was... their morals wouldn't allow them to call. Wendy Williams told about somebody. Their wife had cancer. Mm -hmm. Nobody knew that their wife had cancer. Mm. She talked about the person's wife. She disclosed the fact that somebody's wife had cancer and they family members didn't even know. Mm. So somebody could say, yo, you didn't care about that particular situation and Got what it. the effects would be on their family. So now they don't care about whatever it is that you're going through. We can't pick and choose. You know what I'm saying? Got With semantics, right. it could be Joe lost all his money. That ain't funny to me. No, somebody no. might have a, a, a cancer. That's not funny to me, but you don't get to say, oh, I was laughing at you because you was broke, not laughing at you because you going through some health shit. To me, they both are devastating and they both are not funny to me. And it, you know what I mean? Like I they should you. be handled accordingly. That's my opinion. So, but prayers to her. Like I'm, I'm definitely yeah. not, I'm just giving a, a, yeah, I'm not a, one a, of a subjective happy comments, for, it for conversation. Yeah, I'm just having a conversation. She, she was cool. Even Kev was cool the times that, you know, people that they going through whatever they going through, but he's done some square business with a lot of people that I know. So, mm. you know, I hope they work it out. And the Super Bowl party used to be fire. This given was just bringing me back to Joan Rivers. Like nastiness. I'm saying in the 90s, and I'm not co-signing everything Nikki, uh, not Nikki, Wendy. fucking Wendy did. Mm. And we are going to move on. But she was the best. Indeed. Yes. Bar none. The best. And she did whatever she thought she had to do mm -hmm. back then to be number one, to yeah. propel BLS to where they are, to open the doors and pave the way for everybody to come after, especially mm -hmm. women, Hot. to see what mm -hmm. she to, mm -hmm. to do what she had to do to get the television deal at a time where women they were not doing getting that. television, especially mm -hmm. black women. Especially black women. Mm -hmm. She was a very early, she was a very early representative of the LGBTQA plus That's community, mm -hmm. which is why that style that everybody is punishing her for having, all of the reads, all of that toxic, nasty shit, mm -hmm. some of the shit you spoke on. Society is now there embracing mm -hmm. some of those mm -hmm. things. You're right. So I just all of them yeah, all I, of them. You're right. So You're I right. just hate when you know we adopt. Adopt everything fly from this person and then we kick them to the wayside because they fucked up a few times or because they just have a, uh, we just have an ill view of them. It's like Joe Paterno. It's like Joe Paterno all over again. Joe Paterno lived his whole life, do all that shit, great, great, great. And now when we find out the assistant coach is doing that nasty shit in the bathroom, now we got to take the statue down, take the mm -hmm. banners down. Wait, why? 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 I think it's fucked up. I'm never a fan of that. I'm not a fan of that. I'm not. And that's not just because I'm Wendy Williams' Jersey bias. I think it's fucked up. No job button.